This is lesson 15. Divide decimals using place value understanding, including remainders in the smallest unit. The first problem is 1 and 7 tenths divided by 2. I'm showing my 1 and, one and 7 tenths in the place value chart, 1, 1, 7 tenths. I've also shown the standard algorithm, 1 and 7 tenths divided by 2. The first thing we need to do is take our 1, 1 and divide it into two equal parts. We cannot do that. 2 goes into 1, 1, 0 times. We have to take our 1 and unbundle it so that we can instead have 10 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, when we take our 10 tenths, tenths and add them to our 7 tenths that we have, we have 17 tenths. I know that 16 divided by 2 would be 8, so I should be able to get 8 tenths in each of my two sections I have down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can do that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I took my 17 tenths, I divided into two equal groups, and when I did that, I got 8 in each group. The total number that I got were 16 of those tenths. When I share the 16 tenths, that leaves me with 1 tenth left. I cannot divide my one-tenth into two equal parts. This went in eight times. cannot divide the one-tenth into two equal parts, but I can take that tenth and unbundle it to form hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hundredths is the same as one-tenth. It's the same amount. So I just traded my one-tenth for ten hundredths. And I can divide my ten hundredths into two equal groups with five in each group. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five in each group. Five times two equals my ten hundredths that I had. 1 and 7 tenths divided by 2 equals 85 hundredths. I'm going to show just the standard algorithm for this problem. We have 7 and 7 tenths divided by 4. To begin with, 4 goes into our 7 ones one time. When we take those 4 ones away, we end up with 3 ones left. When we combine our 3 ones with the 7 tenths, that makes 37 tenths. I know that 9 will go into 37 tenths, excuse me, that 4 will go into 37 tenths 9 times. 9 times 4, 9 tenths times 4 is 36 tenths. And that leaves me with 1 tenth. Just as I did in the previous problem, I can trade that 1 tenth for 0 for one, excuse me, for ten hundredths. I can trade my one tenth for ten hundredths. It's the same amount. It's a different name for the same amount. Four goes into ten hundredths two times because four times two hundredths is eight hundredths. When I subtract, I get two hundredths left, and I know that my two hundredths is exactly the same amount as twenty thousandths. I can take my two hundredths and exchange it for twenty thousandths. Four goes into twenty thousandths five times. Five thousandths times four is twenty thousandths. I have no thousandths left over. Seven and seven tenths divided by four is one and nine hundred twenty-five thousandths.